I'm 10 years old and I'm two and a half feet tall. Osteosmotis metasplasia is very rare. It's a one in a million chance of getting the gene. I'm smaller than at least everybody in my school. And um, basically in the world almost, I just like dancing. Morning, buddy. Good morning. I'm looking at your Facebook. Yeah. You want to see what people are saying today? Mm-hmm. Keep being awesome. What an amazing role model you are. We've been posting pictures of Jacob on Facebook since his third birthday. We thought it would be a good way to, to reach out to the world about Jacob and uh, see if there was anyone else who could potentially have information. It just grew from there, and people just fell in love with watching him. And he's proven to be a, a real inspiration to a lot of children who have challenges of their own. I have three children. Jacob is the oldest. He's the only child of ours that has um, dwarfism. I'm 10 years old, and I'm two foot tall. Two and a half. Two and a half feet tall. Mm -hmm. like, I'm smaller than everybody in my school and um, basically in the world almost. Jacob's basically about the size of a one-year-old, one-and-a-half-year-old. And, -year -old. and um, so usually by the time kids start walking, they're at his height mm -hmm. and then shoot right up past him. My condition is autosmosis dysplasia. One and a half million have it, and I'm the only boy in the world that has this condition, and it's super rare. Usually the doctors say I'd only live to be four or five years old. But I proved them wrong and we live a great life. It doesn't matter if you're big or small. Your size is your size. Everyone is in their own way. So when Jacob started getting popular on social media, the response was overwhelmingly positive. I feel like I'm a very special person. I'm speechless. I just, I love the comments and continue to help others around this world. To me, the importance is helping people understand when a child has differences, those differences don't have to be hidden. Are you going to do it without sound and we add it to it later? Right. Today we're filming a new dance routine for Jacob's TikTok. Jacob has been dancing since he was born, <laughs> basically. He's a natural born dancer. I don't know where he gets the rhythm from because it's not me. I just like dancing. It's one of my routines in life. Trying to grow up my um, followers. So if you see me on TikTok, you can go ahead and follow to help me build up. So today we're making a motivational video, which is uh, something Jacob really enjoys doing. Hey guys, you're special. I don't care what these people say. When they say you're ugly, no, they aren't. That's not, that's not true. So you fight back. That was very good. Very good. You want to make a snack, Jacob? Yeah. Let's get the graham crackers. Graham crackers? He's good about helping around the house. Not much in the kitchen, but <laughs> he's good about picking things up and what else do you like to do? Um, hope you get your cups. Yes, yes. He usually he, puts he, the drinks in the refrigerator. Bartender. Yep, call him the bartender. Shouldn't have said that, but. <laughs> Jacob tries to tell other people, and it's very cliche, but everyone's special in their own way. And I think what makes Jacob special is him knowing this, him, him knowing that he is unique. Ahoy! Ahoy! Oh, it skipped twice. You see that? You know, like he says, your size is your size. You can be short or tall, it doesn't matter what you look like. 
he's defied the odds. And uh, the doctors have even told us now that it looks that he's going to have a normal, nice, long life. If they watch the video, they will feel better. Because they feel like they can relate to you. There's other people. Yeah, and hopefully have a better life and, and have a happier life.